Shear's story of getting to automation has been a long story. We are a co-pack, co-manufacturer, so we do a lot of different products for a lot of different customers. And in doing that, it always been set up to really never automate. We were just going to run with people in place doing a lot of repetitive jobs. We implemented robotics on the tortilla side of this plant. About 20 baggers feed that system. So we have four robots that palletize for all those. Made it possible for us to redeploy 46 people in the plant. So at the time we had two lines sitting idle. Um, we were able to start those lines up. We work exclusively with Kawasaki. Not only is it a great product, but they're a great partner. Our first robot installed in the United States was a Kawasaki in 1998 and it's still running today. We often come across complex applications and we can work hand in hand with Kawasaki to develop custom robotic solutions, software, or other tools that help us help our customer. My favorite part of the robotic system is that it's just so easy to use, it's user friendly. I was hired as a packer about five years ago and they had a bid open for the robotics operator position. I apply for it not knowing anything about it. I basically run it all by myself. I'm the type of person who can't even operate her own laptop. It's been harder and harder to find employees that are willing to and, and want to do a job to put a box onto a pallet over and over. It's not a real exciting job. Those people are definitely looking to do some other stuff within our facilities. We took the plant from a 1.85 million plant to a 2.2 million plant, um, and then about a million dollar savings in wages over the year as well. It has to be quick, reliable, robust, robotic palletizing, robotic packaging, and stretch wrapping as well, so we can handle it all. Finding a solution provider was a, a good challenge for Shears. We needed to find someone who was capable of dealing with our flexibility needs. We have a tremendous amount of skew complexity. We needed to find someone who could deal with those box sizes, get them all onto pallets at the same time, and deal with the amount of changes between customers that we do on a shift-by-shift -shift basis. This is one of our first automation projects throughout our 15 facilities. Shears is, is really starting the automation journey.